is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm here in Fort Worth in my backyard, wishing I was in the Tetons, the Rockies, uh, the Sierra Nevada mountains, anywhere, you know, just taking photographs right now, but I'm stuck in my backyard. That's how it goes sometimes. Today I'm going to be talking about the benefits of a video fluid head as compared to a typical ball head. Uh, for a tripod, especially for landscapes and infrastructure photography. So let's talk about this uh, setup that I have here. I have my carbon fiber legs and my Suroi uh, fluid head. It's a very nice fluid head. I have it currently balanced. I moved this plate back and forth until I got a nice little, you know, equilibrium. It's, it's balanced, you know, this way and that way, okay? So that's the first thing you do with these these tripods, move the plate back and forth until you get it nice, and so it won't go like that automatically. Okay, just go, whoops, you know, and there goes your thousand dollar, two thousand dollar, five thousand dollar lens. You don't want that to happen. Okay. So one of the benefits of this uh, setup here is uh, it's it's very similar to ball heads. You can you know infinitely adjust this tripod head. Okay. So the video flow head, let's say for example you have our, your camera is less endowed than other, you know, cameras. The sensor size is 16, 20, 24, okay, or something like that. To compensate, overcompensate, how about that? Overcompensate for that inability, you do what's called uh, stitching your photographs. Have you ever tried to stitch your photographs? It's a very simple process to a certain extent. It's almost automatic in Photoshop and you can do a lot of that. So. You essentially take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photographs, or as many as you want. If you want it to be wide, you want it to be tall, it's your choice. And you take all those photographs, and this can do it rather readily. It's not an issue. It's uh, one of the benefits of this is that is over a ball head is that it's not going to flop over the ball head. If you loosen it up, it wants to fall. It wants to go down. So that's one of the problems with the ball head. You got your you know, your, your expensive class, and all of a sudden, adios. It's been nice knowing you, okay? So that's one of the benefits of a fluid head. Anytime you're taking a photograph, you're shooting animals, you're shooting landscape, you can just cruise around. You have this pan the, uh, loosened up, or you can lock it in place. You know, or you have this, the vertical pan, you can loosen it or lock it in place, and you can just move around and find yourself a spot. Just amble around. Take your time. You're taking a photograph. You want something that's a high quality. You're not just a typical tourist. You want to, oh, now that looks nice. You got a nice little, you got the elk right in front of the range and there's snow in the background. You lock it down and you go snap, 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 snap. And you got a bunch of photographs. You take them at different apertures and shutter speeds. Make sure you got something nice and maybe some with shallow focus, some with a lot of depth. And you make, a, you know, make those choices. So that's one of the benefits of this thing. It's not going to if I had a, one of those, you know, a F2.8, five, you know, 400 millimeter, boom, it's not going to fall down because I got it balanced a certain way. It's not going to crash, hit, hit here, and go, and all of a sudden there's going to be an issue, okay? That's not a problem. The ball head again, let's talk about the benefits of a ball head. The main attribute that a ball head has over this is that it can take vertical shots rather readily because it has a notch or it could take horizontal shots, and it has infinite adjustability in that range, okay? It's also super lightweight. This is heavier by at least a factor of two, okay? It's heavier by a factor of two. From what I, I wanted to put on my weight and, you know, my uh, scale inside, but I, it wasn't working, so I had to buy the scale. So those are my comments regarding the differentiation between a ball head and a video flu head. I'm gonna keep this set up when I do some traveling. I'm trying to keep it simple. I can put my Nikon here, I can put my Lumix up here, I can put all my different cameras up here, and it's not gonna be a problem. I can take photographs. If I wanna just take a photograph of a building or a snapshot person, snap, snap. It, it functions like that. Look at that's pretty solid. Or if I wanna shoot some video and I'm, on, I'm, a, I'm shooting the, the elk herd or the people meandering about in uh, the piazza in uh, Italy or you know, people hot tubbing in uh, Kyoto, my buddies and I. It's fabulous. It is absolutely fabulous. And this is a high quality video head. There are cheap ones out there. They're basically friction based, they're not fluid based. This is a good fluid based, uh, you know, 
video hit. Again, it's a Saroy VH10X. I really like it. I've had it for a, few, a couple days now, and I loved it. I liked it, you know, last year, but I didn't buy it because it was, it was at a higher price. I got it essentially at half off at the local camera store. A good deal. Don't you think it's a good deal when you get something half off? You know, even online I went and they were charging at least $100 more at your local, you know, big stores in New York. They were charging 100 bucks more and I got a good deal at the local mom and pop, you know, store. They even had some of the vendors like uh, from uh, Lumix, you know, Panasonic and other manufacturers there at the store and they were giving discounts. They were giving substantial discounts. So if you're shopping, you know, ask your store, when is some of the reps going to come to the store? Maybe you can get a good discount. And it'll take, uh, so you won't have to, you know, you may have to pay tax, but you won't have to pay, uh, if, if you get a 20% discount, hey, that's a good deal, don't you think? Even with tax. So I'd like to thank all of you for watching my video. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Again, like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have a chance, check out my other YouTube channel, Eclectic RV and Travel Adventures. It pretty much covers RVing, truck bed camping, and my travel adventures. Some of the videos that I produce with this setup are going over there, and other stuff is coming over here. This is mainly photography, video, and commentary. From Fort Worth, Texas, on this sunny day, it's a sunny day. Yesterday it was freezing, today it's in the 70s. I'm hot in this black sweatshirt. Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, gracias, adios. Bye-bye.